Hi, this is Chris, and this is our channel, Two Wheels Big Life. I have a 2020 BMW GS. Bought it a year ago. Actually, it's my one-year anniversary, and I thought I would do a one-year video on this. I'd give you my likes, my dislikes, and the cost of ownership for this motorcycle. So let's get into it. Okay, let's cover quickly some specs on this motorcycle. It is a BMW 1250. It's actually uh, got a 1254cc boxer engine. It's 136 horsepower, 105 foot-pounds of torque. It weighs 531 pounds dry. The gas tank size is 5.3 gallons, and it gets between 45 and 50 miles per gallon. We've only done just a very few uh, modifications on it. We installed a touring windshield. It was, uh, it's just a little wider and taller than the windshield that came with the motorcycle. Also, the headlights are really, really expensive to replace, like $1,500, probably even more so now. That was a year ago. So we put a protective guard over it to protect it from rocks. We have the TourTech lower crash bars or engine guards, as Richard likes to call them because he doesn't like to say it's a crash. And then the Vario panniers. Those are about all the modifications that we've done to the motorcycle. All right, let's cover my likes on this motorcycle, which far outweigh my dislikes. Um, balancing. This motorcycle is the most balanced motorcycle I have ever ridden. Um, we like to joke around and say it's actually got, it has a gyroscope in it. Just pops right off the kickstand. The center of gravity feels really low. Um, it loves the curves. It's just a beautifully handled machine uh, going around any type of curves or switchbacks. You know, you're riding along on the paved road and you see a dirt road going off into the forest. Uh, to me, there is just no more hesitation. Uh, just peel off and go. Um, no more of that uh, pucker factor. You know what I'm talking about. When you go from paved to dirt, there's used to be for me always this little hesitation of, oh, is this bike going to be able to handle it? Is my skill set going to be able to handle it? You don't feel going from paved to dirt on this motorcycle. The only thing that holds this motorcycle back is the skill set of the rider or me. Let's talk about the comfort features that come on this motorcycle. Cruise control and heated grips. Heated grips have two settings. One, which is perfect, and number two, which is burned your fingers off. So you're warned. You'll thank me later. Comfort feature, I would say, is that it has hill assist, and I've never had a motorcycle with this. It's kind of a, a love-hate relationship because sometimes I don't realize hill assist is on and I want to just get up and go and yeah, what can I say? It takes me a minute the riding modes on this motorcycle. You have Rain, Enduro, Road, and Dynamic Pro. So just with a push of the button, depending on what you're riding through, the bike will make those automatic adjustments for you, whether you're riding on rain or you're riding on dirt or whatever, and it just handles beautifully. Quick shift. Never had a motorcycle with quick shift before. Uh, I can't envision having a motorcycle without quick shift again, but I'm sure I will and unfortunately I'll, you know, miss it because it's absolutely a dream. I could only think of two dislikes for this motorcycle and one is my, actually they're probably both my own personal preference. Number one is the mirrors. I think they're kind of goofy. They look like antennas. I don't like them. I don't know why, I can't tell you why, I just, I'm not crazy about the mirrors. The other one I know is my personal opinion in the weight of the motorcycle for me, for my skill set. I am a six foot, 130 pound, non Arnold Schwarzenegger, 60 year old woman. And some of the roads that I think I wanna ride, um, I probably shouldn't ride. And I shouldn't ride on this motorcycle, but that's just me. So this bike is, again, it depends on your skill set. And those are my only two dislikes that I could come up with. Let's talk about cost of ownership. For this past year, I have spent $2,755 maintaining this motorcycle. What the heck did I buy? Well, let's find out. Because <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I'm kind of shocked when I think about that cost. Uh, I bought it brand new. It's a 2020. I bought it in 2021, but it still was brand new when I bought it. So right off the bat, it uh, needed to immediately get 600 miles on it so that I could get the 600 mile break-in oil change done. That cost $400. Took me two days to get those 600 miles in. I've had three oil changes so far. I think one was $469. 
One was $355, and the other one was included in the uh, 12,000 mile final drive fluid change as well, and altogether that was $711. And these prices all stagger because I was wandering around the country and I was always in different cities, so yeah, some were expensive and some were a little bit better. Tires. This bike came with a set of Bridgestone tires that wore out quickly at 6,000 miles. So I got a set of the Dunlop Trailmax 5050 tires put on it, and uh, I got a really good deal on that. That was $350. They are getting close to needing to be replaced, and I don't think they're going to be $350. I think they're going to be more, but that's what I paid so far. I rode the river road down in Big Bend. I tipped the bike over one too many times and it got an air code that wouldn't go away no matter what we did. Pulled the battery, turned it on, turned it off, everything. So I had to take it into the shop and that cost me $70 to get the um, air code removed. So we went out and we bought the GS911 which can reset those air codes without having to take it into a shop. But, you know, we had to pay $400 to that. No cost to me, it was under warranty, but this bike has had its front telelever shock replaced because it was started leaking. Altogether, that adds up hopefully to $2,755 in one year. And it, at 20, almost 24,000 miles on it now, it's in need of another, guess what? 12,000 mile oil change and final drive fluid. So. Last one was $711. We'll see what this one is. My final thoughts on this motorcycle. It is a dream, an absolute dream. I love it on paved roads. I absolutely love it on paved roads. It just cuts the corners and the curves and um, it's just beautiful to handle. On dirt, I'm not too crazy about it. It's too heavy for me. Um, so is there a possibility that this bike wasn't the right choice for me in the long run? Absolutely. Will there be a smaller bike? Highly possible. So I hope you got something from this video and learned a little bit. That was my one year review on the uh, BMW 1250GS. We'll see you on down the road. If you're wondering what just happened, the camera went off. Richard took my bike out today and he stopped at the gas station, he got gas, and it didn't start. So uh, he took the cover off to the battery, got it started, and then drove away and he just now realized that he left he thinks he left the cover to to the battery at the gas station we're hoping or he didn't secure it enough and he, when he drove away it eventually fell off as he went for a ride yeah so he's now headed back over there so i want to do this by myself and richard's back let's see did he find my cover <laughs> Or am I going to have to include that as an extra cost to the motorcycle? So it's not going to be $2,755. It's going to be $2,755 plus the cover. Plus the cover? No, no cover? No cover. Oh, okay. So price out a cover.